What's up, YouTube? PP Dangle here. I got another uh, gear review item here for you. This has got a knife, a survival knife, a uh, large blade survival knife. Uh, as you can probably tell by the box, OKC. That's Ontario Knife Company. They're out of New York. That's where I live. Uh, I've had a couple of these knives. Um, they're pretty awesome. Uh, I'd like to take a thec uh, second out here. Thank my subscribers. Uh, if you're a new viewer, you know, hit that uh, hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video. If you have any questions uh, after it's done, you know, let me know. Uh, obviously, I haven't used that yet. I, I just got it. Um, I've had I have an Ontario SP50, which you can check. Uh, I got a review up on that. Um, I've used that for a couple of years. It's great. And I also had an RTAC too. So I'm pretty familiar. I guess I would say I'm pretty familiar with the large blade survival knives. I haven't used this yet, so it's just going to be kind of an unboxing, first look, first impressions type thing. I'll go over the specs with you, and then, um, you know, I I'm taking a trip this weekend uh, out in the woods, so I'll try to get in some footage of that, maybe in a new video. Uh, but this is it. Uh, we'll open it up here quick, actually. Oh, that side's already broken. Okay. So, here it is. Here's the sheath that it comes with, just like pretty much any other Ontario knife. You get this nylon cordura sheath it's good for transporting the knife but I, I wouldn't holster it or anything like this i may end up getting a um a kydex sheath for it if i like the knife we'll see about that so that's out of here here's how the knife comes um and you get a little warranty card with it limited lifetime warranty which i have used before uh, i have used the warranty on, on my rtac 2 I broke the blade, I, I chipped it out pretty severely, I used it, uh, I called them up, told them what was going on, I had a new r attack at my door in a week. So, get the box out of him, we'll just put it up here, uh, and here's it, it just comes with a cardboard that says lettuce on it for some reason, I don't know why it says lettuce, um, but here it is, and um, alright. There it is, Rat 7 on this side, Ontario Knife Company on this side, and that's it. This is uh, it's a 7 inch blade, and then it is 12 and a quarter inches overall, 1095 carbon steel, full flat grind, removable micarta handles, which is nice. Um, you know, you just get a little hex key or allen key there, uh, full tang, got some jimping up here, and uh, a little finger choil. Um, to be honest, um, I like the way it feels in the hand. It's definitely um, smaller than the Artax handles. The Artax handles are humongous, but it's a humongous knife. So um, this is nice. This feels good for sure. Uh, maybe if they're a little bit rounded, a little bit more, they're kind of flat, but um, feels good in the hand. Let's uh, test the sharpening here. See if I get a. Find a piece of paper quick. All right, so I got a piece of paper. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll just do a quick, um, you know, a paper test. Razor sharp out of the box. Razor sharp. So uh, no issues there. I've seen some complaints on some forums. People say they don't come sharp. Um, that's a lie. This thing's razor sharp and it has a nice finish, nice profile on it all the way from the back all the way up to the tip take a look at that tip and I'll put this behind it nice point on the tip um, nice thick spine it'll be good for batoning that's it for the knife oh and it does have a lanyard hole here too it's got an exposed pommel um, I don't know maybe if you want to hammer something in and I might chip out the, the micarta here. Micarta is pretty strong though. Um, and you can take these off and wash them. Wash underneath oil. Um, you know, take care of your knife. Oil it up before you put it in the sheath for long-term storage. Um, but this is the Rat 7, and I'll just give you a. Um, I have my S Ontario SP50 here for size comparison. Now the SP50 is 14 inches total long and it has a nine and a half inch blade so the blade is about um, two inches longer on that so there's a little size comparison uh, 
Uh, I really like the way this feels though. It's a lot more manageable um, than that nine and a half inch blade. Um, so this might be something I, I intend to carry more often. Um, my buddy usually carries an axe, which um, so I don't need that SP50 anymore carrying that with me. And I don't know if I mentioned the weight on this. It is 12 ounces. So not bad at all. Artec, I'm sorry, Rat 7 by Ontario. If you have any questions about that knife, um, you know, let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Wow, these snaps are really on there. Wow. All right. If you have any questions about the knife or anything else, um, you know, let me know. Let's see how this fits in there. Yeah, as with the other ones, you know, this is something that has that plastic insert. You're going to have to pull it out and heat it up. Um, let's see here. Man, these snaps really are hard. Definitely probably seeing myself get a kydex sheet for this uh, it's got the pocket up here you can store you know whatever in i don't know a sharpening stone a smaller knife a fire steel uh, it's got molly webbing on the back ontario rat seven and um you know it's got a belt loop for hanging it and then if you want to tie it on your leg you can do that um i would definitely get a kydex sheath sheath for this though but um nice knife I like it. I can't wait to use it. Um, I mean, it would definitely do some good delimbing. Feels like it, it's got some good heft to it. I mean, not as much as the Artec or the SP50, but um, that is going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I can't think of anything else. If you have any questions about it, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, again, you know, smash that like button and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Smoking no cooking the hot bar. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park pot.